Hello my babies and welcome back to Tis the Season aka Vlogmas. Hold on, you see that right there? Yeah, you probably don't have many of those, but you know what, that's okay because I'm gonna give you some tips and some tricks and suggestions on what you can get your loved ones and friends for Christmas. And without any further ado, let's get to them. Now in my notes, I do have a homemade section, but if you're not that creative, which that's okay, not many of us are, then you're gonna have to probably go out, which yeah, don't trust the online stores, don't trust Etsy, don't trust Amazon, don't trust that Prime, just get your butt up and go get them gifts because you never know if someone loses your package, if the package is gonna be delayed because of the snow or the plane or yada yada yada. You just don't want that to set you back when you know that you could have just got it at the store yourself. And when it comes to stores, you wanna stick to the stores that are within your area. You don't have to travel out far. So like your local Walmart, Target, like those type of stores that are within your area or even special novelty stores because I know that some um, villages and towns have them. Like here in my area, there's like a couple of unique stores. I don't know, I haven't really been to them myself. But the point is that every area that you live in probably has a unique store nevertheless. So I just suggest to go to those. And that also can be recommended for wrapping paper and tissue paper and stuff like that as well. Unless there's a specific like wrapping paper store that you go to, but that's just a whole nother story in itself. Now what I said before, or homemade. Who doesn't like homemade stuff? Homemade cookies, homemade bread, just homemade anything. Like if you give a gift to someone and they know that you put your blood, sweat, time, and just effort into that one gift, then how would they not appreciate that? Because they know that it's coming from you and it's not coming from freaking corporate America. But anyway, make something homemade, make candles if you know how to make candles. Like put in their favorite scent. Like if you have a friend that likes lavender, you can make them a lavender candle. You can make someone that's knitted, like knit a hat, knit a scarf. Decor, decor for the um, bedroom, decor for the living room, like say a sign that says love, happiness, and whatever, just something like that because it can also be very personal too. Like you can't, there's not many personalized stuff unless you really, really look for it. Like to get a personalized necklace, for example, could cost a lot. And if you know how to make jewelry, then why not just make it yourself? Or something really fun that you can do like with your friends or even your family, but this one is probably popular in my friends is do favor coupons. Like write, hey, this coupon is good for da da da. I will treat you to a baseball game or I will treat you to a movie night with a spy mask. Just something like that that's just funny and quirky that could bring like your whole crew together or just you and that specific friend to reconnect and be together. I don't know, that sounds fun to me. Like I would love to do this with my friends. Comment down below if you agree. Okay, for this next section I'm gonna name them off a couple of stores but that's not gonna be until the end of it so budget friendly this could be very evident for broke college students like me or teens that just have a little bit of money or when you're trying to take your kids out to shop with a little money that they have or whatever budget friendly in my opinion and you can argue this too is anything under $25 anything under $25 is budget friendly and some of those things that you could get is like stocking stuff for things like basically little toys and trinkets and stuff which could be good for the kids because some of y'all kids need to play with toys like even if you give them like a foam ball that's good enough for me just keep their eyes off the tablet anyway i'm getting off Ugh. I'm getting off topic. Necessity clothing, so socks, underwear, like we all need it because socks and underwear, they can wear themselves out like as time goes on. Yeah, if they need it, they need it. It's necessities, come on. Okay, with that, let me just recommend a couple of stores. Five and Below. I went to a Five and Below and I've got like the canvases that are right here that you guys can't see. Like I got a big old canvas. I got a couple of small ones. I got a paint stand, something that I've been wanting for a while, just one that can go on my table. I didn't even spend that much. I even got some of the stuff from my college dorm from five and below which if I just spent most of my money at Target because Target was my top store I probably would have racked up a lot of moolah so yeah um five and below Dollar Tree I guess and if you're up for it Ross Ross is not that good of a store but if you're up for the um chaos that is to ensue in Ross then go on right ahead now at this point I know what you must be thinking Saffron I just don't want to go into a store and have no idea what to get them I want to just aim like relentlessly trying to find something. Well then why not just pick up a couple of ideas off of those old text messages of hey girl what do you want for Christmas and then they text it to you or those old um Christmas lists that your kids would make if you throw them away I don't know what to tell you but just pick up past like stuff because nine times out of ten if you didn't delete the person's contact it should be in your contact you'll have to scroll some but they'll they'll be there. For me I texted like a couple of my family members what I wanted for Christmas but this year I was a little bit more organized baby I made a 
gold dog, put on my links. Yeah, I was not playing when it came to what I wanted. In that sense, if someone didn't have an idea of what they wanted to get me, they could just refer back to that list that I either texted or emailed them. Well, no, I lied. Basically emailed them. I could not text a dog. Of course I couldn't. But they could just look back at that and say, hmm, I don't know what to get Sephora, so how about I just pick something from this old list because she has to send me a new list or I just don't want, don't know what to get her in this last minute. That could be a good idea also. Or if you just got a good memory, you got it like that and you remember something that they really wanted either because they pointed it out or because of just some other factor, then yeah, you could give them that too. And finally, when all goes bad and you just don't know what to give, just give them money. I don't know why that's such a taboo when it comes to certain people, like it's okay to give them just money for Christmas, especially since you don't know what they may need or may, what they may want and you just don't want to scramble your brain up just to figure it out, then just give them money. If you want to be creative and put it in a brick, which is annoying as heck. If someone were to ever do that to me, I'm throwing that brick out a window. No, just give me the money in a car, give it in my hand. But if you want to make a nice car, you can put it in the car, you can put it in the brick. Like I said, you could be creative with trying to give them that money. And you can also have control of how much you want to give them. So you, if you want to be petty and give them one dollar, you can give them one dollar. You don't want to be generous and give them 500. That all depends on you. Or, if you don't want to give them just regular money, you can also give them Visa gift cards. Let those $25, $150 ones, those are always a good option too. Remember, most people, you don't know what to buy them. So when all goes bad, give them that green moolah. That's the quote of the day. And that is it, guys. Hopefully you guys got some good suggestions and tips and tricks on how to get those last minute gifts. And I wish you all the best of luck because gift shopping isn't as easy as people seem. Whether it be birthdays, Father's Day, Mother's Day, it's just getting a gift is it, something that you really think about because you really want to know what whether or not the person is really going to put it to use or if it's ever going to be shown in your face ever again. I love y'all and I can't wait to see y'all in the next day of Tis the Season. Bye guys.